Bragging about your cooking today and everything at work. I was like, yeah, I found gotta go home tonight so you know, I'm cooking something special for me. I was like, yeah. A whole chicken is waiting for me. A whole chicken is waiting for me. That's what I wanted in my life. I'm gonna try a couple of this. I took some sweet potatoes as well. Mm -hmm. And then mm. sweet chicken as well. Oh, so juicy my chicken. Yeah, just letting you know right now, so... Is it like all of the syrup you can love? It's like lechon in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Did you stuff it at all? No. no you didn't. I could have stuffed it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you... Mm -hmm. That would have been a good way to go. Like if mm -hmm. you stuffed it. You know? Mm -hmm. skin's really crispy. Crispy outside. I'm juicy inside. <laughs> Mm. Mm. What do you use for the to baste it? Oh, just the oil. Yeah. Yeah. And um, every ten minutes, I baste it. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. and his leg is speaking to me now. That's good. Nice. Mm. Nobody wants roses. I mean, I don't want roses for Valentine's. I want a whole chicken love. <laughs> I want nice homemade food for Valentine's. Okay. Well, it's fine. I mean, we celebrate Valentine's the way we want to celebrate it, you know? Yeah. Skin, man. The skin was on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. I like them. Thank you. Is it syrup? Did you use like the pancake syrup or something? No. Does it work? No? <laughs> I, I, like don't think, I don't think I like this. <laughs> I like it. What is it? Mm -hmm. A lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, sweet potatoes need to be sweet. Oh. Because they already have. I like the taste of the potato, mm -hmm. and this this is overpowering the actual natural taste of the potato. Oh, and there is butter there. I was hoping the butter is fine; it would go nicely with it, but mm -hmm. the butter would add like a nice rich texture to what this is. Mm. I don't like acidity with sweet potato; it doesn't work for me. Okay. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> but I don't. Like it tastes like you put jam on the sweet potato. Oh. Like I thought initially I thought it was like an apricot jam. Like. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you guys are happy Valentine's Day. Yes, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you guys are eating something good as well. Um, mm -hmm. And happy and blessed mm -hmm. and warm. warm. If you're cold and cool, if you're hot. It's been a while, it's been a long, long time since I've been back with my wife mm. and I don't really have too much to say because I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> Let's so eat. Let's eat. My wife just decided to start recording <laughs> after I had about a couple of mouthfuls and mm -hmm. I'm not quite ready to give you my full attention at the moment. So. <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys in a bit. <laughs> For you, what is the importance of Valentine's Day? The importance of Valentine's Day is that it is not important. Mm -hmm. I think that you, know, you should be treating your significant other or just the people in your life special every day. Like, it shouldn't matter. But that being said, <clears throat> I do 
feel like there's a lot of like animosity towards actually just enjoying a day like this. I feel like I've spoken to so many people over the course of my lifetime. You know, I'm an old guy already, 33. And very old. So I have a lot of wisdom <laughs> accumulated over the years. And, but I've just been, I feel like I kind of fell into that camp as well, where I used to just be like, oh, it's Valentine's Day, like, oh, I don't, I don't like celebrating these holidays, you know, um, these token holidays. But I kind of feel like, you know, the more you can celebrate things in life, the more you can celebrate just the people around you, um, the better it is, and why not do it as well? Because mm -hmm. it's just an excuse to spoil somebody that you care about, and... I think it's a good thing. I do think that um, as cheesy and cliche as the holiday may be, it's nice to, it's just a nice fun way to kind of break the monot monotony of a week or a day, you know, and just be like, oh, you know, we have a special. It's kind of like, um, I feel like it's similar to like couples who do like date nights and stuff, you know, like when you have like a date night, and, mm. you know, just to kind of keep that spark alive mm. and I feel, yeah, I actually true. don't mind Valentine's. I, I've kind of grown to like all these little holidays and because it gives you a chance to also just spread some joy and cheer to other people too, you know, like I would just like, wish them a happy Valentine's Day and give them a chocolate mm -hmm. or whatever and that kind of thing brightens up somebody's day, you know, even if they're, if they're not having a great day, you can, like, hey, you can do something like that. But you always just celebrate it any other day. Yeah, not you just can celebrate. Not just on the 14th of well, January. Well, you can't celebrate Valentine's Day any other day. I, I, I mean, I know, but like, um, just buy flowers and give it to your yeah. family and, and family. Think, you know? And just do it if you can. Or don't buy flowers because <laughs> you can just pick them legally. <laughs> don't steal people's flowers. But if there are flowers, somewhere in the field and you like them and you think about your significant other and your then, family or your family or, friends. or even for yourself mm -hmm. if you want to pick some flowers for yourself you can do that mm -hmm. um, make yourself feel special too every everyone important in your life deserves to feel special including you right so i feel like what these kind of holidays teach me is to appreciate what you have and enjoy life. If you don't do that, I find, well, I just this is just something I found for myself. I tended to become a lot more cynical mm -hmm. as a person. I feel like I was very, a lot more negative, mm -hmm. I think. And you know, because I'm always like, oh, I don't want to follow these trends. I don't like these holidays and, mm -hmm. oh, you know, I just, I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to be a person that celebrates life a lot more. And I think the happier I can be, the, the better my life becomes. And the more I can smile in life, yeah. the more happy memories I can make, the greater the satisfaction of living becomes, I think, for me. Mm. And I can look back on my life. I can look back when times are harder, I guess. Mm. And I can see more joy, um, you know, and it, it makes those kinds of times more bearable mm -hmm. for me. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's to enjoy life more. Just mm -hmm. try to do that, even if it's not the best, even if you're not always happy. Those breaks that you get from, from your daily grind and these small instances like even something like your birthday i think mm -hmm. just enjoy it enjoy celebrating yourself or enjoy celebrating people that you care about because there's nothing more important in your life than them right these are the people that make your life better mm -hmm. they bring happiness to you and when you see them when you had a long day you know, even if you just want to vent and get some support, they're there for you. So appreciate them. And I, I think that you'll enjoy life more if you do.
Yeah. I'm just happy that I am with you now. Reunited. <laughs> Reunited. Yes. We are together. At again. last. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it was horrible being apart. Mm -hmm. Really difficult. Yeah. Now we can celebrate with our 2022 <laughs> Great Oh, we're celebrating time right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Cheers, Mona. Oh. To more Valentine's Day. To more Valentine's Day is to come. And happiness. And happiness. And love. And love. And everything. <laughs> Not quite everything, but good things. Good things. Yeah. Positive things. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. And we love you guys in a platonic way. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> Friendship way. And thank you for supporting us. Thank you for coming along our journey. Mm -hmm. And you know, from the bottom of my heart, I really wish happiness for all of you. I want all of you to find happiness, to be happy as much as you can. Mm. You know, um, that's what I really want. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. I still have some work to do on the chicken over here, <laughs> so. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.